to Canvas version 1.2 demo, um, showing the new features of the Obsidian plugin, Semantic Canvas, the plugin that makes note properties, list type note properties, and canvases aware of and interdependent on one another. So for the demo, I'm going to document The Simpsons. Um, we've got The Simpsons note with one property called family. There is no The Simpsons canvas. What Semantic Canvas allows you to do is create canvas based on note. Clicking this will create a new canvas with the same title, showing The Simpsons, the family, and all of the family members. But let's expand on this here. Let's take a look at Bart. Bart has sister. Sister Lisa. Bart has parent Marge. What the original semantic canvas allowed you to do, and this one still does, is append note properties based on what's in this canvas. So if I click append, what we will see is sister and parent gets added into the Bart note. <coughs> it isn't always just note to note. You could say Bart is uh, male. And we could put in gender here. And if I then um, append note properties, we got gender male showing up, even though male's not a note. So um, the difference between append properties and overwrite properties is shown here, where if I switch parent from Marge to Homer and then append, we don't lose the connection to Marge here in the note. Um, instead, we just add Homer. If I were to switch that back to Marge and then uh, overwrite, what we will do is remove what's here and put um, whatever is in the canvas in its place. So we lose Homer because that connection is not shown here. Uh, another thing that we can do is actually use groups. So if I group these together, we'll call it sisters and put an arrow to that group, and then come up to here and either append or overwrite the note. Um, it will propagate those arrows out and I, they will be virtual arrows made between Bart and Lisa and it will adopt the group name as the key. So Bart now has sisters, Lisa and Maggie. So sister and sisters um, aren't recognized as the same, but you know what, that's still pretty cool. So the new expansion to the semantic canvas adds in these two menu choices. Show all connections between notes on this canvas. We'll look into the properties of all of the notes on this canvas, find the connections that could be made, and pull them out. So Bart has sisters Lisa and Maggie. Um, if Lisa and Maggie had their own connection, sister... Um, which, by the way, by directionality does work. So these would both be labeled as sisters when I come in here and hit uh, append note properties. Lisa now has a sister of Maggie. Maggie now has a sister of Lisa. Um, if I were to get rid of all of these arrows again and then show connections between notes on this canvas, what we will see is uh, these get reinflated. Re now, this is not actually a bi directional arrow, uh, it's a quirk the um, inflate, what am I calling it here? The show connections will only ever show one-way connections, but the fact that these are named the same as each other, yeah, looks that way. Now the other option that got added in here is pull properties from notes on this canvas. And it, what that will do, um, unlike the show all connections between notes on this canvas, is it will actually reach out into these notes, find things that could be added to this canvas, and then add them in. So in this case, if I pull all properties, what we will get is Bart, gender, male, got added back in. Um, if that's too much, which it can be in certain cases, if I were to take these back out and um, pull all properties back in, what we will get is Maggie showing up um, actually twice, interestingly, which I guess makes some sense. Uh, this can be a little overwhelming in large, highly connected networks. Um, so what the new semantic canvas, I need to stop saying those words, update allows you to do is work a little bit more granularly. Um, if you were to right click on a given note, you can pull note properties 
in for just the thing you have right clicked on. That way you don't have to pull in for everything. Um, or if you don't even want to see every possible thing that gets pulled in, now if you pull out and just let go, this menu that's always shown up has add card, add note from vault, but it will also pull, give you the option to pull in the properties from the note that you're linking from. So if I pull in sisters, what we get is a group containing Bart's sisters, Maggie and Lisa. If you want to change some properties um, shown on the canvas, but not all of them at once, you didn't used to be able to do that. Now you have the option to, so uh, let's see. I'm uh, resizing that to make it fit a little better. Um, you can also now ch make changes to node properties based on the canvas in a more granular way. You used to have to do all of them at once, which was um, worked, but this is nicer. So if I take Homer here and let's add in an occupation of nuke worker and we'll just put job. Um, what we used to have to do to make this new thing reflect in Homer was um, either append or overwrite everything in this canvas, which sometimes you don't want to do. What you can do now is either right click or long tap on mobile on the arrow itself here. And you will get a new series of uh, options in this context menu where you can update the source property in uh sorry update the property in the source note so the source of this would be homer and updating the property will take in whatever it is connected to here um so if homer were to let's say get fired or whatever and become mr plow we don't necessarily have to change everything that might be going on elsewhere in this note you can just click on this one individual label and update the property that way. Um, you can also just remove the property from the note source. So if you want to delete a connection that exists for whatever reason, if you didn't want Marge to be uh, Bart's mom anymore, you can come in and remove the property parent from the Bart note. So if I remove this, Marge is gone. Sad day.